Unjustified terror, which paralyzes needed efforts to convert retreat into advance. They'll probably laugh and joke about probably kick at it and you know, see what you know, if it's gonna do something, but eventually if it's around for so long, somebody gonna check it out and see what it is. Right. But you see I just touched the box out of curiosity, so if it is anthrax, I got it. I was the first one. Right. Maybe it's because the area we live in, we live in the ghetto, so it's like yeah. it's more like the violence and scary stuff we deal with is like shooting out crime like that. We ain't dealing with scary packages in this right. area. Yes, I will. Yeah. People so afraid and scared right today, they look at other people that like they could be terrorists. What do you think are the things that make people the most insecure? What you makes know? them the most insecure? Right. Lack of money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lack of money. Lack of whatever it is you want. Not having it causes you frustration and anxiety and. Oh yeah. Well, I think that's very good security because I carry my bag here. I got another bag, and I'm thinking about Transfer to Metra and South Shore trains at Randolph and Wabash. take a job downtown and I, I've developed this really weird phobia. I really can't be on an L train because I feel like I'm almost a, a sardine uh -huh. and I just get this like really weird, almost like a tightness in my throat. I was aware of my surroundings. It goes along with looking at a package or I've seen a package there. Since 9-11, of course, I've second guessed unmarked packages. It's, it's, um, I'm more aware of them now. Some, sometimes it's not good to tell everything you know. Yeah. 
right. Well, especially when you don't have um, any theory or what you're going to do about it or how we're going to solve it. Right. You know, so you tell you to alert everybody that the unclaimed package somewhere, unmarked, and we call the bomb and office in or whoever, so that make everybody scared. Right. If it's Union Station's wide open, if somebody really wanted to do harm, they could. Europeans just feel that Americans are very over suspicious in general. Do you think that? Yeah, very protective of their sort of borders and this our land of freedom is now sort of building a wall around itself. Yeah, but it's because we fly to the States, they want to know everything about us before we were allowed to book the yeah. plane. Well, I'm a person that always sees stuff on the ground and picks it up and throws it away or checks it and sees, you know, someone lost their things or whatever, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it kind of like got me to stop, you know, trying, well, I called myself helping people in case they lost their things or something, sure. so it's like now I'm kind of leery to try and help someone. Downtown in Jerusalem, oh, yeah. they call the police, immediately, like, the they, whole street they block up, up the area, they bring in a machine, and it blows up whatever that thing was, yeah. that backpack. <laughs> if you miss it by five minutes, like, it didn't even happen, like, yeah, exactly. if you miss the explosion, you'd be like, oh. And usually you, like, see some guy in the side, like, oh, that's my backpack. Yeah, uh, see some guy uh, leave it for two seconds. Like, oh. And I turn around to look at what's going on, and somebody said, is that your bag? And I'm like, what bag? Oh yeah, that's my bag. And um, I didn't even know, I wasn't even asked directly if it was in fact, you know, I didn't say, excuse me, sir, is this bag behind you, your bag? It's all fear, with fear tactics. But right, and so that's what we're, we want to interview people about is like, do you feel more scared now? Like, do you feel more no. threatened now? No, I feel like somebody's trying to make me feel scared. Really? Make me, yeah. Make You're definitely more conscious of it, you know, and you might like keep your eyes peeled a little bit more for suspicious behavior, whereas beforehand you just be like, oh, crazy guy. Yeah. I'm more aware of people around you than, than packages. I don't think you're worried about packages, you're probably worried about people around you. Right. I walked all the way up and it's basically just like this. Yeah. And I asked a bunch of people, but most of the people don't want to talk to me. Sí, pero este es uniforme de, de, de médico. Sí, pero la gente no es ignorante. Ah, sí. Tiene miedo a muer la muerte. Ah. Piensa que ustedes tienen un arma ahí. ¿No le has dicho nada a la policía? Ah, sí. No, no nada, nada, nada. Ten cuidado con los uniformes. Ah. Sí, es que la policía ahorita no puede confiar en nadie. Nadie. Es bomba. Muchas gracias. When I'm feeling scared, I, it's really hard for me to, to feel like I can be creative. Mm -hmm. And so it's keeping in us in the position of like not being able to do things for ourselves and uh, not be able to connect with others. What are we paying these taxes for if we can't have security? Mm -hmm. If we cannot be safe in our own environment? This is where the war is basically at, here, with our young children. So instead of you trying to focus so much on overseas, Mm -hmm. and everywhere else you need to focus on what's going on here everything is increased what about increasing grants for more schools mm -hmm. more education more teachers 